Find f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g, and the domain for the following two functions, f of x equals x minus 6, and g of x equals 5x squared. Solution. So to find f plus g, all you do is you add these up. The answer would be x minus 6 plus 5x squared. That's all you do, but let's, let's go through it and use the proper notation so you see how it works. So the correct notation for f plus g would be f plus g of x. And so by definition, this is equal to f of x plus g of x. So really easy, it just means you add them. And then x minus, x minus 6, that's going to be your f of x, so x minus 6. And then g of x is simply 5x squared. Then you can rewrite this, if you like, you can write the term of highest degree first. So 5x squared plus x minus 6. So that would be the correct answer for f plus g. Now the domain is the set of all inputs. It's all of the x values that you can plug in that actually makes sense. You might say, what does it mean to make sense? Well, it means you can't divide by 0 and you can't have um, negative numbers inside square roots. So here, this is a polynomial, there's no divisions, there's no square roots. So you can plug in any number you like for x. So the domain is all real numbers, or negative infinity to infinity. Let's do the rest of these. So f minus g, that just basically means you subtract them. But if you wanted to use the correct notation, it would be f minus g of x. This would be f of x minus g of x. And we know f of x in this problem is x minus 6. And then g of x is 5x squared. This would be minus 5x squared. And you could leave the answer like this. Or again, you could put the, the 5x squared in the front. Let's be different. Let's put it in the front. So minus 5x squared and then plus x minus 6. An unnecessary step, but we did it nonetheless. And again, in this case, the domain is all real numbers. There's no issue uh, at all with any x values. You can plug in anything you like. So the domain would be negative infinity to infinity. Let's look at f times g. This means times. Whenever you have the f next to the g, it's a multiplication. So if we have f times g of x, well, this is equal to, by definition, f of x times g of x. So this is equal to, so it's x minus 6, that's your f of x. And then g of x is simply 5x squared. All right, now we have to carefully multiply. So 5x squared times x, that's going to multiply to 5x cubed. And then 5x squared times negative 6, that's going to be uh, minus 30x squared. And so that would be the answer for f times g of x. And again, there's no issues here at all with the domain, right? So um, no problems at all. You can plug in anything you like. There's no divisions. There's no square roots. So the domain here, again, would be negative infinity to infinity. And the very last case, the very, very last one we have to deal with, would be the case when we have f divided by g of x. So again, using proper notation. And again, this just means you divide them. So the answer is just x minus 6 over 5x squared. But if you wanted to show the proper notation, it would be f of x divided by g of x. And so this is equal to, well, f of x is simply x minus 6. And then g of x is 5x squared. And that's it. You can't really do anything else with this. You could break it up, but there is no point. Now, the domain here is every single number except 0, right? Because if you plug in 0 on the bottom, uh, you get division by 0. So it's every number except 0. So here's 0 on the number line. And we want to include every number except 0. So we want to include all of these numbers here and all of these numbers here. But we want to exclude the 0. So what we do is we put parentheses. So it's all the numbers up to 0, not including the 0. And then starting at 0 again, not including the 0, and then all the rest of the numbers. So in interval notation, the answer here for the domain would be negative infinity to 0. And then to connect the sets, it's union 0 to infinity. 
I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. I wanted to go through and just show you how to use the proper notation. But really, these are all easier than it actually seems. f plus g, you just add the functions. f minus g, you subtract them. f times g, you multiply. f over g, you divide. That's it.